thinking of doing Raw Tour 4, but only in its namesake, so not like following Freely's exact plan because god knows I've got enough vegan cookbook for at least the next little while I'm going to try and eat raw until four o'clock every day and then have a cooked meal in the evening given the the, the whole raw till four idea is that you primarily eat fruit for your raw food I think that that I can eat primarily fruit for breakfast and lunch and then for dinner I can have a hot vegan meal um, with all the savoury stuff in it. I also know at several points during this video that if Freely ever did watch it she'd be like you're not eating enough you're restricting which you know it's fair. I essentially had one month this year since lockdown started where I did not count calories and in that one month I gained six pounds. In all of the months since lockdown which started in like March time um, I've gained back more than a quarter in one month of the stuff that I lost because I stopped calorie counting. So I'll be doing my own version of by name only Raw Tool 4. I'm going to be filming like little bits of this and that. I've got a mango for breakfast today which I worked out to be like 460 calories because it's a massive mango. Um, yeah, I might film that, I don't know yet. So yeah, bye for now. have a table to eat at so I tend to eat on the floor um, but here's my dinner that you saw earlier I've never actually had these before and obviously they're not like the healthiest thing to eat I know but I thought I would try to make up for it by having this edamame salad so I'm just gonna tuck in cheers everyone and um, I'll see you later I'm going to be having two bananas and just to address the brown spotty elephant in the room um, I wouldn't usually have bananas that look like this but given that this is a freely inspired diet and she says that you shouldn't eat bananas that don't have brown spots on them I thought I would pick up these two bad boys um, to help with my digestion so today I'm going to be travelling to visit my parents, uh, so I'm going to be with them for the next few days, so I'll get little clips here and there where I can. I'll see you in the next clip. So I've um, just arrived at the motorway services, uh, so here's where I'm going to have my lunch. Uh, it's about half past two, so it's a bit of a late lunch, but I also had breakfast late. Um, so I'm gonna hope the waitress has something that I can eat. So I don't know how well you'll be able to hear me, but um, I had a bit of a dilemma because there wasn't very much available at Waitrose for me to have. So I ended up picking up a carrot and hummus. Obviously the hummus isn't raw. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just eat the carrots for now 
and then um, I'm going to save the hummus and have that with dinner and that way it's not wasted and then I'm going to eat um, obviously the strawberries and the pear and the apple. So my parents are both meat eaters and they always panic whenever I come to visit them because they never know what to feed me so now I've just stopped at the well I'm about to go into the supermarket to buy a few things um, so that they don't have to worry about it. I also haven't prepared them about this whole raw tool four thing so that'll be an interesting conversation. Um, yeah so see you later, bye! just like chilling around the house so I'm gonna try and get a walk in and yeah I'll keep you updated still out shopping haven't had lunch yet it's about half past two um, my mum's just out there having an argument over some reduced food so I've run away to the toilet I'm just walking down the beach near where my parents live and I'll tune you in for dinner. <laughs> 